Okay, in the first part, we uh, basically went through and we um, created our, our 3D object, the spotlight uh, that we want to control. Um, this part I'd like to cover, uh, setting up our workspace um, and basically getting uh, the majority of the meat and potatoes of the, uh, the, the plug-in um, set up. So go ahead and open up uh, Visual Studio Express um, and create a new project. Um, we need to create a WPF application. We are actually, it's not going to end up being an application. It's going to end up being a DLL file. Uh, but that's basically what we have to set up uh, to get things going. Uh, so go ahead and give it a name. Uh, let's call it Spot. Um, click OK. And it will create our application here. Now, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and save this so that we can change some stuff. Uh, and then once we save it, we can change some settings. If you watched uh, any of my previous um, uh, tutorials on creating stuff, uh, it's pretty similar. Um, so go ahead and go into the project and go into spot properties. Uh, first thing we need to change is we do not want to use the .NET uh, 4 framework. We want to use the 3.5 client. Um, go ahead and click yes. Um, and then the first thing we'll notice if you go under the references over here to the right, um, we need to get rid of anything that has uh, the exclamation point on it. Um, go ahead and remove that. Um, while we're in references, uh, the only reference we are going to need to add um, is uh, the object DLL. Uh, that will be found in uh, the sequencer, uh, sequencer suite uh, that you downloaded. Um, easy for me to say, right? Um, so go ahead and browse for that. Um, I actually have it in, let's cancel here and try that again. Um, wherever you put it uh, in your VIX, it's probably in your Vixen um, folder. Uh, if you go to add-ins and in the object suite sequencer is the ob object lib.dll. Click OK. Um, then highlight that and copy local we want to set to false. Now at this point uh, go ahead and save. Um, we're going to save often as I always say to do. Um, as I said before we are not going to be creating an application and this is what it's trying to do. We need to create a DLL and um, the first thing we need to do that is uh, right click on your project go ahead click add and um, we want to add a user control um, a WPF user control um, you can go ahead and name this spot also um, click add uh, that is actually going to be what shows up which uh, the in here will eventually be um, our spotlight. So now that we have um, our spot, we can right click on the app XAML, delete that, click yes, uh, right click on main window, delete that, click yes. Um, and in a minute we will get some errors unless we go into the project, go to spot properties, um, and instead of this being a Windows application, we want this to be a class library. Um, so that's the majority of what we need. Uh, the next thing we probably want to do is go ahead into your build um, and have it build to your um, your Vixen folder. Um, I have a temporary Vixen folder. Um, we want it to go into the object model folder within Vixen. So go ahead and select that folder um, and then go ahead and click save. Um, okay, so we have our spot XAML 
Uh, like I said, this will eventually be where our spotlight will go and we'll walk through that. Um, if you right click on it over here, you can go ahead and view the code. Um, and this is, this is where we are going to be uh, doing the majority of our work. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a namespace. Uh, so we want to use uh, add the namespace object lib. Uh, that is basically uh, everything we need um, in the uh, sequence or suite that we need access to. It's in there. Um, and then we need to make this DLL uh, conform to uh, an interface. And that is you can after the user control just hit a comma and we're just going to add the interface I movable object um, right click on that implement interface and you will see this is all the information that we need to create um, in order to create our um, our plugin to the sequencer add-in um, so let's go ahead in this part and just fill in the normal stuff the author you're gonna put your name in uh, I'm gonna return my name Okay, um, initialize. This really we're not going to use. Um, I just left it in there in case we ever need it. So you can just go ahead and clear that. Um, object description. Uh, let's give it a description. We're going to return a string. And if you remember from the past uh, tutorials I gave, we know the return type is whatever it says here. So in this case, it's a string. Uh, so return uh, uh, spotlight. Okay, um, the object name. Uh, let's give it a name. We will turn spotlight. Let's make it spotlight. That'll be all nice and simple. Okay, so uh, believe it or not, we already filled in the majority of what we need to do. Um, so let's just start let's go ahead and save this and let me explain exactly what is going on in in this add-in number one we will be copying uh that 3d model into this area um and then in our uh in the code part what we are going to do is we are going to have to define what kind of controls we need um in this case, we probably want to uh, be able to rotate it horizontally to the left, to the right, and we probably also want to do it vertically, uh, straight up and straight down. Um, so what we'll do is we'll make a list of controls, and all of that is tossed uh, using this update settings. So basically, we will create our list of controls, um, and when the um, add-in needs it, it will get it from here, so we'll return that list. Um, and then when the add-in has some changes to tell us about, it will give us the, uh, an updated list back through here. And then from here, um, we can tell it to do whatever we want to do. Um, but that's just a brief description of all we have to do. Um, but for this part, I think we're good. We've got our basic, uh, setup done, um, so let's pause it here, and then in the next part, uh, we'll we'll bring in our um, our three D object.